There is no time where we see the words of our national anthem better reflected than during the carnival season, as every creed and race come together so readily, so freely, and without prejudice. The origins of carnival, though, were in direct contradiction to this spirit, as it was reserved for the petit bourgeoisie of the planter class, who were determined to maintain the schism between them and the enslaved Africans. Carnival today, however, is an active practice of freedom, as this masquerader puts it succinctly. I think it's one of the most original carnivals in Curacao. The reason for this is because, unlike a lot of different Caribbean countries, the carnival here in Trinidad and Tobago represents the historical resistance that the enslaved people went through to be where they are today. So me wearing, just participating in this is a is sort of a remembrance of that, remembrance of the people that fight it for me to be here and not just me, not just this carnival, but all the different aspects of the um, um, enslaved people's culture. So the various aspects of what we know as Carnival today is a coming together of many elements, from the many traditional characters that are still celebrated and preserved today, to the competitions throughout the season that lead up to the big show, to the sights on Juve morning, and of course what we now call the pretty or feathers and beads mass that tends to take the forefront of the celebration in both spectacle and subscription as droves of participants, local and international, make the yearly pilgrimage for every fleeting moment on the road and, of course, on the stage, for a celebration that is unlike any other but in sweet Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Carrie Roberts, giving you a glimpse into the paradise we have right here.